Outlook 2029 Super Doppler Weather Center. Meteorologist Derek Beasley with your Super Doppler Weather. And a good Thursday evening to you. You know, today is the first time I've ever seen so many people so excited about seeing rainfall, and for good reason. We're seeing plenty of beneficial rainfall right now. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at live Super Doppler radar and see exactly where it's occurring. Looking at sections of northwest Arkansas, mo light to moderate rain continuing across sections of Washington and Crawford County and extended up towards Madison County around the Huntsville area. And the general movement's off to the northeast about 20 miles per hour. Looking at southeast Oklahoma, west central Arkansas, the heaviest storms now appear to be around, around, around the Danville area in northern Yale County. And this continues through southern Logan County and back through eastern Scott County, just east of the Walden area. Again, these storms continue to move off towards the east and northeast at about 30 miles prior. Moving, it has begun to move out of Sequoia County and most of LaFleur County. So expect this trend to continue throughout the evening as the showers and storms will gradually move off to the east. But notice that line out to our west towards Tulsa. That could be providing us with some thunderstorm activity a little bit later on this evening. Let's go back over to the computer looking at our Thursday rainfall totals for Arkansas. Fort Smith picking up a little over a half inch of rainfall. Fayetteville, just a little over, just a little less than a quarter of an inch. In Paris, our weather tracker John Flanagan uh, down in Paris has uh, picked up about four tenths of an inch of rain. And uh, good old friend Daryl up in Winslow just called in with a rainfall total of a little under three quarters of an inch. So most areas have seen some pretty beneficial rainfall. Of course, we need a lot more than this to really do a number on our drought situation right now. But I tell you what, we're going to see some more over the next few days. As mostly cloudy, mostly cloudy skies will continue throughout the night tonight. Thunderstorms will be likely, so if you have any evening plans, make sure you take the umbrella with you. Looks like overnight lows ranging from 60 to 67 degrees area-wide. This afternoon, we got up to 73 degrees in Fayetteville after a morning low of 64.